and we back at it with another Thursday Thursday. <laughs> so we're going to today we're gonna do never have I ever, but before we get into that video, I need you guys to like, subscribe, and comment. Okay? Because other than like the other YouTubers, I actually can see that you guys are commenting. Okay? I can see that. So let me, you know, spam that like button. And this drink right here, let me know if y'all taste this drink before. Because this is going to be my first time. Okay? So let me know if you guys are actually watching the whole video by commenting your favorite parts. Okay? And if you ever tasted this drink. Alright? So, let's go ahead and get into this Never Have I Ever Thirsty Thursday. With mommy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> my mama is so goofy, y'all. My mama is so goofy. <laughs> and we haven't even started this yet. It's me, Papa. So, we're going to do, now this is going to be the first time me ever doing a game like this with my mama. Okay? So this is going to be interesting. So how it's going to go is, we're going to do Never Have I Ever Again. But with the questions that I have, that I have already had, you know, posted the questions, and I have got a bunch of great questions that my mom doesn't even know about. Uh oh. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> so, how it is, how I go, mom, is if you have done whatever um, the question is, you'll have to take a shot, and then you're going to have to tell our sweet audience why. Oh my God. Okay. Well, depending on the question. Yeah, come on, don't tell my business. You ain't gonna tell your business. This is our family, girl. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Gotcha. Now, let's do the first question. First, first question is: Never have I ever called into work and lied that I was sick. <laughs> 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 you see this shot that I got? I have. I have. <laughs> and this question is kind of snitching me out a little bit because my mama don't know this. <laughs> uh oh. But I have called in to work and lied and said I was sick. Now, the reason why is because. I work long hours. I work 10 hours, six days a week. So, and we did it back to back, and my body just needed to shut down. So, technically, it wasn't a lie. Yeah, it was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a lie. It was a lie. No matter how you say it. No matter how I say it, it was a lie. <laughs> what about you, Mama? Okay, let me go ahead and do my drink. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I have called into work um, and lied and said I was sick for two reasons. <sighs> Number one, I was tired, which the same, I worked long hours. The other reason, my co-worker was getting on my nerves, and I knew if I went in that day, I was going to snap out, so it was my job or, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I, I have. <laughs> Next question, question number two. Never have I ever lied about being on my time of the month to avoid having sex with a guy. Ah. Uh. Yes, I have, I have, and um, I just wasn't in the mood. <laughs> there ain't no story about it. I just want, I just, I just 
wasn't in the mood. I didn't want to disappoint him. That's it. I didn't want to say no. No, baby. Um, yeah, I'm not in the mood today. So, to save the heartache and the whole bag of wolf. Yeah, baby, it's that time of the month. Ooh, look at Grimps. Can you give me chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> I do I have to do it because I never do this? No. If you did, if you've never done it, you don't have to take a shot. Oh, okay. So you can just say, nope, I never done it. If you have done it, you gotta take a shot. Nope, never done it. Oh, um, you drunk. <laughs> That's why I say this is gonna be drunk Thursday. Yep. <laughs> Next question. Never have I ever used sex appeal to avoid getting a ticket from the police. <laughs> Like this is set up. <laughs> I just set myself up. Okay. I have. But but it was for the greater good. It's for the greater good. It technically wasn't for me. It was it was it was for my my um yeah, but yeah. I yeah, I did it. What about you, Mom? No, I didn't. Ah, wait a minute! Wait, hold on. Yeah, I did it and still got a ticket. <laughs> you did it and still got a ticket? Yep. Yeah. Because it was the woman. It was first mama. Mama. Hey, mama. I had to try somewhere. Mama. What? A woman? I had to try somewhere. It was cute, though. I thought it would work. Because but you, the ticket wasn't so hot. I'm cute, so yeah. So because you felt that she was cute and you cute and she the police officer, I'm gonna be like, hey, and I'm gonna use sex appeal to get her. Yeah. And it ain't worked out in your face, did it? No, but the ticket was more. Oh. She didn't she didn't, she didn't give me like the all the tickets that I should have had got. She oh, should have had got me one and basically it was um it was like basically a citation, mm -hmm. of basically a warning. So I guess it was, huh? I mean, yeah, you were technically, yeah, yeah, that was considered it, it worked. Yeah. Mine worked too, but mine was a guy. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was an older, an older woman. So. Old country. No, <laughs> no, I had to do what it do, baby. Hey. I ain't get no ticket. Hey. And you never found out. Yeah. 
have been arguing over the same person <laughs> for years, and it's Randy Orton. It is Randy Orton. Oh my God. So, I have, <laughs> but I don't consider him as my boy. Well, we divorced now, because I'm in a relationship now. So, we're divorced. I'm not with him, no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs>
in my 25, 26, when I was my best friend. And the thing is, we always drink. But this day, I did not eat before we went out. Oh, my God. So we was drinking. And at the time, you know, the, the style was the thing, you know. So we Ooh, was drinking. Style is good. Yes. And it's a sneaker drink. Yes. So we was drinking, got to the club, dancing. And all of a sudden, it hit me. I took off from the dance floor. And by the time I made it to, like, the, the little bench in the bathroom, it was this girl sitting there. I didn't turn quick enough. And it flew all over. And then, you know, I apologized. And at the same time, he apologized. And it did it again. So, it was like, life <laughs> see. Yeah, you know, then leaving the club and going home, you know how you see the dogs hanging out the window. That was my head hanging out the window with a tra trail of throw up going down the road. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I was really funny. Listen, let me tell you something. If if we was friends back then, you would not have to worry. We, I'll make sure we get the plan A and plan B. Okay, point A and point B, we're going to get there. Trust and believe. I'm going to make sure you good. But I'm letting you know this now. I would have recorded it and waited till you got sober and would have said, look at you. That was at the time when it had happened when um, the dad had got in my sky and he was past y'all who was sitting there looking at him, looking at the, the picture, talking to the picture. Yeah, that was it. Wait. Yeah. I think what? you got, yeah, I think you was maybe six. I was like six, uh, six or seven. Yep. And I remember that. Yep, that's what happened. Oh Lord. Okay. Next question. Never have I ever dated a friend's ex. No. No. Nope. I am big on I'm big on loyalty. Like if this is my ex, I I understand we're not together no more, but that is somebody that I was with. I had put emotions in and all yeah. of that. So I expect the same thing from my friend. Right. And it makes me feel like if you get together after we done broke up, exactly. were you guys already looking at each other exactly. or already thinking about something going on? Exactly. No. Exactly. Like, I, mm -mm. even, even like, okay, that's that person's significant other before. Yes, they not together. But that was one point in time that my best friend had deep feelings for this person and was right. talking to me and getting to me right. about that person. So that would be straight legal. Yeah. So, no, I have never done that. Yeah. But this, that was the last question. That was the very last question. This was fun. It was fun. <laughs> and it's like, I'm glad we did this because I actually, like, found out so much stuff about my mom. Like, I'm, this whole time, I'm literally thinking that my mom is innocent. That's what us parents have to do. Do you not know how much, like, how much I'd be mean, like, when people be like, oh, your mom or your parents, you know, when they were younger, they probably did this, they probably did that. I'm like, my dad, maybe. My mom, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. Like, because, you know, the mom, you you have to be the backbone. You have to, you have to shield yourself from your kids. So, it's, no. So, you, you grown now. Yeah. So, stuff I still wouldn't tell you. Like how big it is, it's like still one time. I would go to the grave with you. Dang, that is a hundred. <laughs> it's off the scale. I respect that though. But if I feel that I'm going to the grave with you, ain't gonna know. Nope. I'm letting like, you know this now. My, I got secrets going, but you ain't gonna never know it. Nope. I don't want to know it. If, look here. If it's nothing that um could have killed you, could have put you in jail. I want, I want my mama to think I'm innocent. I already know you ain't innocent. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to show my mom some love. Like, I've been seeing it. I've been seeing it on the adventures of me and mom. And I love it so much. Don't forget to show my mom some love. And don't forget to make this time your best time. Yes. Okay? Be well, you guys. Bless, be loved. Bye. Bye.